everyone, it's Clara, and I'm going to introduce you the first Kangi folk song called Nilidia. This song is pretty famous that a lot of Koreans know in general. It is taught in the elementary school grade 5 as well. A few years back, a famous K-pop star G-Dragon even released a song called Nilidia as well. Here is the original lyrics of the song. When we perform, especially on your own, you would sing up to three. But today, we're not here to perform, but to translate and learn the material. So I picked five. One thing about it is that when you sing, you can cut it in half like this. It is divided this way. And the lyrics are also written in a way that you would consider as one when we sing. Grammatically speaking, for example, it has to be written like this. For example, this one. You need a space in between. But singing and breathing wise, you can pause here and there like this. So it's different from grammar. So this is the music sheet. I got this from the Kayagum book that I have and revised it a little bit by eliminating ornament sounds here and there. You can download this material from the link in the description section. Unfortunately, I didn't know how to utilize all the fancy applications on iPad, so I drew it on, on my own. Also, when I translated I didn't touch the hook part as I think it is the core spirit of the song, but if you want to listen to the original song, I'll leave the link for you so that you can maybe go and visit. So let's start. So this is verse 1. The original lyric says, 청사초롱 불밝혀라 잊었던 난군이 다시 돌아온다. And I translated it like, Light up the lantern, turn on the lantern. My dear husband is on his way. And you can pause. You can maybe breathe in here. Here, like this. And as I said, it can be divided into two parts, just like this. First part and the second part. So I will sing it for you now. Light up the lantern, turn on the lantern, my dear husband is on his way. So the first word you should know here is 청사초롱. It is a traditional Korean lantern. I'd say it's the most iconic one that I can think of when someone asks me about the lanterns we had in the past. According to the dictionary, it seems the lantern was used by the grandson of the king, the son of the prince, who is going to be the future king in the kingdom. Later on, in the late Joseon period, people used it for the weddings and it became the symbol of marriage. People carried it when the groom rode on horses to move to the house of the bride or when the bride moved to her in-law's house after marriage. Also, try to look at the color of the lantern. Isn't it familiar with you somehow? Yes, the Korean flag here. The colors correspond to the yin and yang. Next is 불밝혀라. Grammatically speaking, you have to add a space between 불 and 밝히다. 불 means fire. And parakida means light up or brighten, brighten up. By adding 청사초롱 and 불발켜라 together, I made the first part of the lyrics like light up the lantern and turn on the lantern. Next Korean word you can learn from here is 난군. 난군 is the way young female called their husband. Does any of you guys know this drama? Here, Hong Shim, the girl, called Won Dek, the boy, Nangun, as he is the husband of her. 
So it seems like the husband who was away for some reason, like for a military service or to work somewhere far, is on his way back to his house to see his newly married wife. So the wife is lighting up the lantern to welcome him. Let's go to the second verse now. The original lyric says, 일고월심 그리던님 어느 시절에 만나볼까? Again, it can be divided in two parts, first and second. And you can breathe in here and there. I translated it into, when can I meet my love again? Endless waiting is waiting for me. I'll sing for you. When can I meet my love again? Endless waiting is waiting for me. So the first thing that I'm going to point out here is 일구월심. Have you ever heard of four character idiom? Something like, I know from Shin so Yugi really struggles at all the time. They are the things that can be written with Chinese characters, which has the lessons or origins of something. For example, 섬섬 옥수 means pretty hands of a female or 소탐 대실 which means you suffer a big loss in going after a small gain. So this 일구월심 is also a type of four character idiom that is formed with these four letters. 일 means a day or the sun. 구 means for a long time. 월 means a month or the moon. And 심 means deep or deepen. Its literal meaning is the day is long and the moon is deepening. But its actual meaning is that the things get larger and deeper as time goes by. By saying that, it has the similar meaning of desperate. For example, you're desperate to have your own child after 10 years of marriage. You know, you, your desire, hope, and wish to have your own child may get larger and deeper as time goes by. So the lyrics basically says you miss your husband so, so much. So let's go to the next one. The third one is 산은 첩첩 천봉이요 물은 잔잔 백곡이라 And I changed it as layers of mountains, thousands of them, water comes everywhere, calm and peaceful. And you can sing it like this. Layers of mountains, thousands of them, water comes everywhere, calm and peaceful. So this lyric talks about mountains and water, basically. First, chop chop means multiple layers. Often we say chop chop sanjung. Like, I got lost in the chop chop sanjung, in the middle of the mountain. Then the blue one, chunbong, means many mountains. So the first chun means a thousand. A huge number. And Pong means the peak and the top part of the mountain. Like when you when you see something like this, 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 this would mean Pong. Then it goes to the water part. Here, Tandan or Tandan Hada is an adjective that means the state of water and wind being calm, quiet, and peaceful. Last one is 배꼽. According to the dictionary, 배꼽 actually means all kinds of grains. So I was like, I was a little curious about it because 배꼽 has nothing to do with water, right? So I searched for more things that might have 배꼽 in front or at the back. Then I found this, 배꼽왕, which means the place where the water from every valley gather together. So although the lyrics did not say Wang at the end, I assume that the second one suits better than the first one in this lyrics. So the lyrics basically says the mountains are layered and the water is coming from everywhere. Nothing difficult. And the fourth one is 어제 청춘 오늘 백발 가는 세월을 어이하리. 
Same here. You can divide it into two parts and you can breathe in here and there. I translated it like this. The youth is gone. Now I got old. No one can hold and stop the time. You can sing it this way. The youth is gone. Now I got old. No one can hold and stop the time. I chose this verse because it has a famous idiom used by many Koreans. Like it essentially means time flies. Its literal meaning is that yesterday I was young, but today I got white and gray hair on my head, which is the same as I'm old. We cannot do anything about the time that passes. The last one is 왜 왔던 고, 왜 왔던 고, 울리고 갈 길을 왜 왔던 고. And for this one, I made two different interpretations. So the first one is from the perspective of a wife. Why did he come? Why did he come? Did he come to make me cry? And the second one is from the perspective of a husband. Why did I come? Why did I come? Did I come to see her cry? When I performed it, I always thought it only has the perspective of a wife who has to remain at home and send her husband away. But as I was translating, I realized that the Korean writing can actually be translated in both ways. So let's go to the fun part. Let's try making your own lyrics. Imagine an 11-year-old girl crying for her hubby to come back. Well, the lyrics were full of emotions that I could not really understand. So my mom made me make my own lyrics for the performance. Here are some lyrics I made as a child. See the lyrics that have the same format as the original one? So, if you are good at Korean, try making one in Korean. You can also make one in English, as I did in the video. If you want to, leave them in a comment section so that I can see and share. Before I end this video, the music sheet and the worksheet are available from the link in the description section. If you have any question about Korean folk song, leave a comment, DM me on Instagram, or email me. I'll try to come back to you right away. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day and hope to see you soon. Bye!